Good morning. Last night I had a dream, crazy dream, uh, which I will tell you about. First I have some news. Uh, United States, Bernie Saunders, he's been thinking. He's talking about the Twitter ban on, the pres on President Trump. He says, yesterday it was Trump, tomorrow it could be anybody. <laughs> yeah. Here's a story from Sweden. They did a survey and they found out that 4 out of 10 believe that the news reporting in public service news is left wing. And then there was a comment from the CEO, Silla Benke. And she says that listeners have only been manipulated by loud people to believe that what they hear on the radio is left wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Idiot. <laughs> right. So you're listening and you say, you know, I believe this is left wing. <laughs> you have been manipulated. Wow. Here's another story from Sweden. A uh, serious case. Woman in her 30s working in healthcare got the AstraZeneca shot. Uh, in early March and then she had to go to the hospital intensive care you know she's right there now you see uh, and uh, she had an acute stomach pain and they found blood clots in her veins they are already looking into two other cases here in Sweden people who died uh, a woman in her 60s and a man in his 60s uh, this is now reported on uh, mainstream media here in Sweden. So my question is, how many cases do you need? It's manslaughter, that's what it is. Yeah, there's no question about it. They are actually killing people. And it's manslaughter. You know, when you unintentionally kill somebody, it's manslaughter, right? You are responsible for somebody dying it's manslaughter, right? This is what it is. So how many cases do you need? Uh, here's a testimony from a nurse who got the shot. So this is her story. First she was happy to get the shot. Um, she had been waiting for it. Uh, after three, you know, then she got high fever within seven hours. And she had three days, this is what she's saying after three days. I have now had high fever for three days and difficulty breathing. And now she's very skeptical to this AstraZeneca shot. And she says she will probably not take the second one. And she says, you know, I can cope with being this bad, this sick, but it's definitely not a shot for fragile people. Uh, the fever came after about seven hours and I couldn't stand on my feet and even though it was it's been three days I'm still in a very bad condition and I have problems with breathing from what I understand I'm not alone in experiencing this getting this crazy sick she says all right so now to the dream yeah, it's a crazy one. So, I live in this town. The, the town is secured. There's guards around the town. Okay, And I live there with my girlfriend. And then there's new regulations coming from the authorities, which says you can't live with your spouse or your partner anymore. You have to live alone. So, I'm reading this new rule from the authorities, and I'm talking to my girlfriend. And I said, you know, we have to leave this place. Yeah, uh, it will be dangerous, but we have to go. And she agrees. So we are, go we are going to go, get out of there. Okay, the following night. Okay, so, uh, but then I says, I say this, you know, I'm going to talk to them. There are inspectors coming in later that night, that evening to see, to check on people, to see if they are following the rules, right? 
And I say, I will talk to them. <laughs> right. And then I talk to others in the town. And I talk to a good friend of mine. And he says, you know, he looks very scared, this guy. He's in panic. He doesn't want to leave his wife. And he's sad. And he's in panic. And then he tells me this, you know, they, they are building prison cells. They are taking people to these prison cells. Anybody who questions the rules or doesn't obey them, they will end up in these prison cells. And then I realize I can't even talk to these guys, you see. So we decide to leave the following night. And I manage to get out. My girlfriend doesn't. The next thing, next day, you know, I'm on this huge field. It's as far as I can see, there's just grass everywhere. And then there's some clouds in the distance. And I'm walking. And then I hear something behind me. And I realize they are trying to catch me. Right? So I look back and I see three monkeys. Uh, they don't look like chimpanzee monkeys. They, more, they look more like these uh, Chinese furry monkeys that you may have seen in the mountains, living in winter, living in the snow. Snow monkeys. But they are big, you know, about this high, this high. There's three of them. And I decided, you know, I will not try to uh, hide. And I will not run. I will fight. So I decide, you know, when they get here, I will kill them. Okay, so I'm just walking slowly across the field. And the monkeys are getting closer. And one of the monkeys is catching up to me. And then I stop and I look at it. And the monkey stops and looks at me. So we are looking at each other. And then he runs away in another direction. And the other monkeys follow him. And that's the end of the dream. So what do you think it means? Right. Bye.